First at 11, chaos worldwide. This blue screen popping up on computer screens for hours this morning, connected to what's being called one of the biggest IT outages in history. Just look at this time lapse from Flight Radar 24, showing a dip in U.S. air traffic from midnight to 10 a.m. According to FlightAware, as of 9 tonight, cancellations in and out of the U.S. topped 3,000, and more than 11,000 domestic flights were delayed. And that is why you saw this scene playing out at airports with crowds from here on the East Coast all the way to the West Coast. Now airlines are struggling to recover. And tonight the disaster that affected Microsoft is being blamed on a software update by CrowdStrike. It's a cybersecurity company. Thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Priscilla Casper. And I'm Glenn Jones. What a day. NBC 10's Michael Rosenfield is at Logan Airport tonight where there was no shortage of upset passengers, Michael. It was a chaotic day here at Logan Airport and at airports all across the country because of the computer glitch. Here at Logan alone, we had more than 100 flights canceled. Long lines inside Logan Airport as frustrated passengers tried to rebook flights. We're very sad because we can't get home to Palm Beach, so we'll spend a night in Boston which we loved, and we'll eat out in Little Italy and have a good time and make the best of it. The tech issues plaguing computers impacting multiple industries, including travel. More than 11,000 flights delayed across the country, including more than 400 at Logan. We checked our bags, checked in, and then we kept hearing the two-hour delay, two-hour delay, two-hour delay. This group of Massachusetts students trying to get to Ohio for hockey camp, stranded at Logan and coming up with a new game plan. So we're stuck here. We need to take a van, but we don't know how it's going to work. We're alone. Passengers tried to rebook by calling airlines, but no luck. It said there was a 10-hour hold, so... Now we're just going to get in line and see what we can do here. And no success online either. I tried to do it all on the phone via the app, so it kept crashing. Passengers wondering how a technical glitch can cause so many widespread issues. I just think that we've got to have a better secure system for everything. All of our infrastructure is what I'm most concerned about. Delta here at Terminal A was one of the hardest hit airlines of the day. Around 30% of Delta's flights across the country were canceled on Friday. From Logan Airport, Michael Rosenfield, NBC10 Boston.